What are prime and composite numbers? Prime numbers are positive integers, natural numbers. That are greater than 1 and have only 1 and the prime number as divisors, factors. Another way to define a prime number is an integer greater than 1 in which its only positive divisors are 1 and itself. For example, prime numbers less than 20 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. All other integers greater than 1 that are not prime are called composite numbers. There are other rules, the number 1 is unique, and is not considered a prime or composite number. And one of the basic theorems of arithmetic is that any positive integer is either a prime or the product of a unique set of prime numbers. For example, the number 12 is not a prime, but it has a unique prime calculation written as 2x2x3. What are prime and composite numbers? Prime numbers are positive integers, natural numbers. That are greater than 1 and have only 1 and the prime number as divisors, factors. Another way to define a prime number is an integer greater than 1 in which its only positive divisors are 1 and itself. For example, prime numbers less than 20 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. All other integers greater than 1 that are not prime are called composite numbers. There are other rules, the number 1 is unique, and is not considered a prime or composite number. And one of the basic theorems of arithmetic is that any positive integer is either a prime or the product of a unique set of prime numbers. For example, the number 12 is not a prime, but it has a unique prime calculation written as 2x2x3. What is the sieve of Eratosthenes? The smallest prime numbers those less than 1 million can be determined. Using something invented circa 240 BCE, the sieve of Eratosthenes. This method was named after astronomer and mathematician Eratosthenes of Cyrene, 276 to 196 BCE, who was actually more famous for calculating the circumference of the Earth than for his work with prime numbers. To determine primes using this method, make a list of all the integers less than or equal to n. Numbers greater than 1, and get rid of all the multiples of all primes less than or equal to the square root of n. The numbers that are left are all primes. For example, to determine primes less than 100, start with 2 as the first prime. Then write all odd numbers from 3 to 100, there is no need to write the even numbers. Take 3 as the first prime and cross out all its multiples in the numbers you listed. Take the next number, 5, and then 7, and cross out all their multiples. By the time you reach 11, 
many numbers will be eliminated and you will have reached a number greater than the square root of 100, 11 is greater than 10, the square root of 100. Thus, all the numbers you have left will be primes. What is the sieve of Eratosthenes? The smallest prime numbers those less than 1 million can be determined. Using something invented circa 240 BCE, the sieve of Eratos thence. This method was named after astronomer and mathematician Eratos thence of Cyrene, 276 to 196 BCE. Who was actually more famous for calculating the circumference of the Earth than for his work with prime numbers? To determine primes using this method, make a list of all the integers less than or equal to n. Numbers greater than 1, and get rid of all the multiples of all primes less than or equal to the square root of n. The numbers that are left are all primes. For example, to determine primes less than 100, start with 2 as the first prime. Then write all odd numbers from 3 to 100, there is no need to write the even numbers. Take 3 as the first prime and cross out all its multiples in the numbers you listed. Take the next number, 5, and then 7, and cross out all their multiples. By the time you reach 11, many numbers will be eliminated and you will have reached a number greater than the square root of 100, 11 is greater than 10, the square root of 100. Thus, all the numbers you have left will be primes. Are there different types of prime numbers? Yes, there are different types of prime numbers, including the following. Mersenne prime C the box text for an explanation twin primes primes of the form P and P plus 2, in other words. They differ by 2, discovering such a prime involves finding 2 primes. Factorial slash primorial primes primorial primes are of the form n hashtag plus or minus 1, factorial primes are of the form n. Plus or minus 1. Sophie Germain primes this is an odd prime p for which 2p plus 1 is also a prime. It was named after Sophie Germain, 1776 to 1831. Who proved that the first case of Fermat's last theorem for exponents was divisible by such primes. Other names for prime numbers are mainly for descriptive purposes. For example, in 1984, mathematician Samuel Yates defined a titanic prime to be any prime with at least 1,000 digits. In the past few decades since his definition, there have been over a thousand times more such primes discovered. Yates also coined the term gigantic prime to indicate a prime with at least 10,000 digits. A great deal has happened in the last few decades, so it is only a matter of time before the first 10 million digit prime is found. Although it is still unknown what name that prime number will be given.
Are there different types of prime numbers? Yes, there are different types of prime numbers, including the following. Mersenne prime see the box text for an explanation twin primes primes of the form p and p plus 2, in other words. They differ by 2, discovering such a prime involves finding 2 primes. Factorial slash primorial primes primorial primes are of the form n hashtag plus or minus 1, factorial primes are of the form n plus or minus 1. Sophie Germain primes this is an odd prime p for which 2p plus 1 is also a prime. It was named after Sophie Germain, 1776 to 1831. Who proved that the first case of Fermat's last theorem for exponents was divisible by such primes. Other names for prime numbers are mainly for descriptive purposes. For example, in 1984, mathematician Samuel Yates defined a titanic prime to be any prime with at least 1,000 digits. In the past few decades since his definition, there have been over a thousand times more such primes discovered. Yates also coined the term gigantic prime to indicate a prime with at least 10,000 digits. A great deal has happened in the last few decades, so it is only a matter of time before the first 10 million digit prime is found. Although it is still unknown what name that prime number will be given. What is the Fibonacci sequence? Italian mathematician Leonardo of Pisa, c. 1170 c. 1250, also known as Fibonacci, or son of Bonaxi, although some historians say there is no evidence that he or his contemporaries ever used the name. May be known for helping to introduce Hindu Arabic numerals to Europe, cp. 70, but he also is famous for the sequence of numbers he discovered. This sequence initially pursued as an exercise to determine how fast a pair of rabbits can reproduce per year is formed by adding the two preceding numbers to find the next number, starting with a pair of ones. Thus, the Fibonacci numbers in the sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377, and so on. Or 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5, 5 plus 3 equals 8, 8 plus 5 equals 13, 13 plus 8 equals 21, 21 plus. 13 equals 34 34 plus 21 equals 55 55 plus 34 equals 89 89 plus 55 equals 144 144 plus 89 equals 233 233 plus 144 equals 377, and so on. What is the Fibonacci sequence? Italian mathematician Leonardo of Pisa, c. 1170 c. 1250, also known as Fibonacci, or son of Bonaxi, although some 
historians say there is no evidence that he or his contemporaries ever used the name. May be known for helping to introduce Hindu Arabic numerals to Europe, cp. 70, but he also is famous for the sequence of numbers he discovered. This sequence initially pursued as an exercise to determine how fast a pair of rabbits can reproduce per year is formed by adding the two preceding numbers to find the next number, starting with a pair of ones. Thus, the Fibonacci numbers in the sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377, and so on. Or 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5, 5 plus 3 equals 8, 8 plus 5 equals 13, 13 plus 8 equals 21, 21 plus 13 equals 34, 34 plus 21 equals 55, 55 plus 34 equals 89, 89 plus 55 equals 144, 144 plus 89 equals 233, 233 plus 144 equals 377, and so on. What is the story behind the Mersenne Primes? Mersenne Primes, or Mersenne Numbers, are connected to prime numbers. They come in the form of 2P1, in which P is a prime, or... To put it another way, when 2p1 is prime, it is said to be a Mersenne prime. Centuries ago, many mathematicians believed that numbers from the form 2p1, they actually used the form 2n1, which is the same as the 2p1 used today, were prime for all primes p. By the 16th century, it was proven that 211 1 equals 2047 was not prime. By 1603 Pietro Cataldi, 1548-1626, correctly discovered that P equals 17 and P equals 19 were both prime. But he was wrong to add 23, 29, and 37 to his prime numbers list. Soon. Others discovered his errors, including French mathematician Pierre de Fermat. 1601 to 1665, in 1640, and Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, 1707 to 1783, in 1738. The hunt for primes continued. The name Mersenne actually came from the French priest Father Marin Mersenne. 1588 to 1648 who in 1644 referred to such numbers in the preface to his book Cogitata Physica Mathematica he believed that these special primes were p equals 2 3 5 7 13 17 19 31 67 127 and 257 but like earlier attempts at determining prime numbers, many of Mersenne's numbers were in error. It took three centuries more to check Mersenne's range of numbers, and by 1947 the correct list of Mersenne primes were p equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 61, 89, 107 and 127. Interestingly enough, even though Mersenne incorrectly stated that certain numbers belong to this group he probably didn't verify all the numbers on his list his name is still attached to these numbers.
What is the story behind the Mercenae Primes? Mercenae Primes, or Mercenae Numbers, are connected to prime numbers. They come in the form of 2P1, in which P is a prime, or To put it another way, when 2P1 is prime, it is said to be a Mercenae Prime. Centuries ago, many mathematicians believed that numbers from the form 2P1, they actually used the form 2N1, which is the same as the 2P1 used today, were prime for all primes P. By the 16th century, it was proven that 211 1 equals 2047 was not prime. By 1603 Pietro Cataldi, 1548-1626, correctly discovered that P equals 17 and P equals 19 were both prime. But he was wrong to add 23, 29, and 37 to his prime numbers list. Soon. Others discovered his errors, including French mathematician Pierre de Fermat. 1601 to 1665, in 1640, and Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, 1707 to 1783, in 1738. The hunt for primes continued. The name Mercenay actually came from the French priest Father Marin Mercenay, 1588-1648, who in 1644 referred to such numbers in the preface to his book Cogitata Physica Mathematica. He believed that these special primes were P equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 67, 127, and 257. But like earlier attempts at determining prime numbers, many of Mercenay's numbers were in error. It took three centuries more to check Mercenay's range of numbers, and by 1947 the correct list of Mercenay primes were P equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 61, 89, 107 and 127. Interestingly enough, even though Mercenay incorrectly stated that certain numbers belong to this group he probably didn't verify all the numbers on his list his name is still attached to these numbers. What is GIMPS? GIMP stands for the Great Internet Mercenay Prime Search. A program started in January 1996 to discover new world record-sized Mercenay Prime numbers. It harnesses the power of the Internet and thousands of small computers. Belonging to public and private concerns to make the necessary calculations. GIMPS uses only about 8 megabytes of memory and about 10 megabytes of disk space. Per computer a small amount of space for such a large undertaking. A Pentium class computer is necessary, and the computer should be on most of the time. But if you decide to join the GIMPS group, be patient a single test can take about a month to complete. To find out more, get on your computer, log on to the internet, and access the address http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash prime.htm. What is GIMPS?
GIMP stands for the Great Internet Mercenary Prime Search. A program started in January 1996 to discover new world record-sized Mercenary Prime numbers. It harnesses the power of the Internet and thousands of small computers. Belonging to public and private concerns to make the necessary calculations. GIMPS uses only about 8 megabytes of memory and about 10 megabytes of disk space. Per computer a small amount of space for such a large undertaking. A Pentium class computer is necessary, and the computer should be on most of the time. But if you decide to join the GIMPS group, be patient a single test can take about a month to complete. To find out more, get on your computer, log on to the internet. And access the address http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash prime.htm. What are exponents? Exponents are actually shorthand for multiplications and represent the number of times a number is being multiplied, called the base. For example, 9x9 equals 92 or 9x9x9 9 9 equals 93. Another term for this process is raising to a power. In which the exponent, a number as a superscript, is the power. For example, 93 is 9 raised to the third power. It is also easier to write larger numbers with exponents. For instance, Instead of writing xxxx, we can write x4. For more information about exponents, see algebra. What are exponents? Exponents are actually shorthand for multiplications and represent the number of times a number is being multiplied, called the base. For example, 9x9 9 equals 92, or 9x9x9 9 9x9 9 equals 93. Another term for this process is raising to a power, in which the exponent, a number as a superscript, is the power. For example, 93 is 9 raised to the third power. It is also easier to write larger numbers with exponents. For instance, instead of writing xxxx, we can write x4. For more information about exponents, see algebra. What is a base in mathematics? The term base has many meanings in the English language. Including several that apply to the field of mathematics. When talking about sets. Bases are the open sets whose union forms an abstract entity called a topological space. In geometry, the base represents the side of a polygon or polyhedron that is perceived as its bottom. When referring to an isosceles triangle, the base is the side that differs in length from the other two. Thus, the base angles include the side that is thought of as the base. 
Algebraists also use the term base to describe either the number used with an exponent to create a power. Such as 34 equals 81, or to write the same number as a subscript to a logarithm. Such as log 381 equals 4. For more information about logarithms, see algebra. One of the more familiar uses of the term base in mathematics deals with our numbering system. In which a base is a natural number whose powers are added to produce a specific number. For example, using 10 as a base, the number 2583.789 is actually 2x103 plus 5x102 plus 8x101 plus 3x100 plus 7x10 to 1 plus 8x10 to 2 plus 9x10 to 3. What is a base in mathematics? The term base has many meanings in the English language. Including several that apply to the field of mathematics. When talking about sets. Bases are the open sets whose union forms an abstract entity called a topological space. In geometry, the base represents the side of a polygon or polyhedron that is perceived as its bottom. When referring to an isosceles triangle, the base is the side that differs in length from the other two. Thus, the base angles include the side that is thought of as the base. Algebraists also use the term base to describe either the number used with an exponent to create a power. Such as 34 equals 81, or to write the same number as a subscript to a logarithm. Such as log 381 equals 4. For more information about logarithms, see algebra. One of the more familiar uses of the term base in mathematics deals with our numbering system. In which a base is a natural number whose powers are added to produce a specific number. For example, using 10 as a base, the number 2583.789 is actually 2x103 plus. 5x102 plus 8x101 plus 3x100 plus 7x10 to 1 plus 8x10 to 2 plus 9x10 to 3. How do you convert from the binary to the decimal system and vice versa? Besides the decimal system, one of the most familiar number systems is the binary numeration system. This is mainly because of its use in computers, for more about computers, see math in computing. In a binary numeration system, only 1 and 0 are used or a base 2 system. Converting between binary and decimal systems is fairly simple. Just remember that each digit in the binary number represents a power of 2. The first column in the base 2 math is the units column, then the 2s, 4s, 8s, etc. columns, all of which can only be filled with zeros or ones. Since there is no single digit that stands for 2 in base 2, when you get to what stands 
for 2, you put a 1 in the 2's column and a 0 in the unit's column, creating 1 2 and no 1's. Thus, the base 10 2, 210, or just 2 in decimal form, is written in the binary as 102, a 3, 310, or just 3 in decimal form, in base 2 is actually 1 2 and 1 1, or 112. The number 4 is actually 2x2. So you eliminate the 2 and unit columns and put a 1 in the 4's column. Thus, 410, or just 4 in decimal form, is written in binary form as 1002. How do you convert from the binary to the decimal system and vice versa? Besides the decimal system, one of the most familiar number systems is the binary numeration system. This is mainly because of its use in computers, for more about computers, see math in computing. In a binary numeration system, only 1 and 0 are used or a base 2 system. Converting between binary and decimal systems is fairly simple. Just remember that each digit in the binary number represents a power of 2. The first column in the base 2 math is the units column, then the 2s, 4s, 8s, etc. columns, all of which can only be filled with zeros or 1s. Since there is no single digit that stands for 2 in base 2, when you get to what stands, for 2, you put a 1 in the 2's column and a 0 in the unit's column, creating 1 2 and no 1's. Thus, the base 10 2, 210, or just 2 in decimal form, is written in the binary as 102, a 3, 310, or just 3 in decimal form, in base 2 is actually 1 2 and 1 1, or 112. The number 4 is actually 2x2. So you eliminate the 2 and unit columns and put a 1 in the 4's column. Thus, 410, or just 4 in decimal form, is written in binary form as 1002. Why do mathematicians and scientists often use scientific notation? In scientific notation, scientists generally pick the power of 10 that is multiplied by a number between 1 and 10, which makes larger and smaller numbers easier to write and read because they take up less space. For example, in the case of the average distance between Earth and Sun. 9.3x107 miles is mathematically much easier to work with than any larger or smaller exponent numbers. The following are several examples of large and small numbers in powers of 10 notation similar to numbers used in scientific notation. Note. Numbers that are extremely small in scientific notation will have negative exponents. 748,000 can be represented by 7.48x105 245 can be represented by 2.45x102-45. Zero, zero, 000 can be represented by minus 4.5x104.025 can be represented by 2.5x10 to 2 minus 0.0036 can be represented by
minus 3.6 x 10 to 3 0.0004409 can be represented by 4.09 x 10 to 5 0.0000014 can be represented by 1.9 x 10 to 9. Why do mathematicians and scientists often use scientific notation? In scientific notation, scientists generally pick the power of 10 that is multiplied by a number between 1 and 10, which makes larger and smaller numbers easier to write and read because they take up less space. For example, in the case of the average distance between Earth and Sun. 9.3 x 107 miles is mathematically much easier to work with than any larger or smaller exponent numbers. The following are several examples of large and small numbers in powers of 10 notation similar to numbers used in scientific notation. Note. Numbers that are extremely small in scientific notation will have negative exponents. 748,000 can be represented by 7.48 x 105 245 can be represented by 2.45 x 102 minus 45. 000, 000 can be represented by minus 4.5 x 104 0.025 can be represented by 2.5 x 10 to 2 minus 0.0036 can be represented by minus 3.6 x 10 to 3 0.0004409 can be represented by 4.09 x 10 to 5 0.0000014 can be represented by 1.9 x 10 to 9. What is currently the most common numeration system? The most common numeration system in use today is the Hindu Arabic. This set of numerals has 10 digits in a place value decimal system. Which is a fancy way of saying that a decimal system one based on tens is an integral part of the system. And that each number has a certain value depending on its place in the list of numbers. What is GIMPS? GIMPS stands for the Great Internet Mersenne Prime Search. A program started in January 1996 to discover new world record sized Mersenne Prime numbers. It harnesses the power of the Internet and thousands of small computers. Belonging to public and private concerns to make the necessary calculations. GIMPS uses only about 8 megabytes of memory and about 10 megabytes of disk space. Per computer a small amount of space for such a large undertaking. A Pentium class computer is necessary, and the computer should be on most of the time. But if you decide to join the GIMPS group, be patient a single test can take about a month to complete. To find out more, get on your computer, log on to the internet. And access the address http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash prime.htm. What are exponents?
Exponents are actually shorthand for multiplications and represent the number of times a number is being multiplied, called the base. For example, 9x9 equals 92, or 9x9x9 9 9 equals 93. Another term for this process is raising to a power, in which the exponent, a number as a superscript, is the power. For example, 93 is 9 raised to the third power. It is also easier to write larger numbers with exponents. For instance, instead of writing xxxx, we can write x4. For more information about exponents, see algebra. What are some examples of clock arithmetic? As stated above, the clock would be considered arithmetic modulo. With calculations including such statements as shown below. Note, in all of the first calculations. The equal sign can be replaced with the congruence sign three lines instead of the two for an equal sign. Are there more advanced concepts in arithmetic? Yes. Arithmetic can even be more advanced than the ideas mentioned above. For example, higher arithmetic is the archaic term for number theory, which is the study of the properties of integers. Or whole numbers, 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. It can include anything from simpler arithmetic concepts to the more complex such as Diophantin equations, for more information about these equations. See algebra, prime numbers, see below, and functions such as the Riemann hypothesis. For more about Friedrich Bernhard Riemann, see history of mathematics and geometry and trigonometry. There are other more advanced ideas in arithmetic, too. For example, modular arithmetic is known as the arithmetic of congruences, see below. The model theory discusses the existence of non-standard models of arithmetic. And floating-point arithmetic is performed on real numbers by computers or other automated devices. How are numbers classified? The set of natural numbers are also called integers or counting or whole numbers which are usually defined as the positive and negative whole numbers, along with zero, zero. What are non-vanishing and vanishing numbers? A non-vanishing number means just what the term implies, a quantity that is non-zero everywhere. For example, in the expression x4 plus 1, the answer will never be zero. Even when x is 0 or a negative number. The answer for the expression x2 is called vanishing because if x equals 0. The expression's answer vanishes to 0.
What are some standard measurement units and their definitions? For a helpful list of standard measurement units and systems for converting them to other types of units. See Appendix 1 in the back of this book. What were some early units used for calculating length? The earliest length measurements reach back into ancient time, and it is a convoluted history. Some of the earliest measurements of length are the cubit, digit, inch, yard, mile, furlong, and pace. One of the earliest recorded length units is the cubit. It was invented by the Egyptians around 3000 BCE and was represented by the length of a man's arm from his elbow to his extended fingertips. Of course, not every person has the same body proportions, so a cubit could be off by a few inches. This was something the more precision-oriented Egyptians fixed by developing a standard royal cubit. This was maintained on a black granite rod accessible to all. Enabling the citizenry to make their own measuring rods fit the royal standard. The Egyptian cubit was not the only one. By 1700 BCE the Babylonians had changed the measurement of a cubit, making it slightly longer. In our measurement standards today, the Egyptian cubit would be equal to 524 mm, 20.63 inches and the Babylonian cubit, cubit 2, would be equal to 530 mm, 20.87 inches. The metric unit millimeters is used here, as it is an easier way to see the difference between these two cubits. As the name implies, a digit was measured by the width of a person's middle finger and was considered the smallest basic unit of length. The Egyptians divided the digit into other units. For example, 28 digits equaled a cubit, 4 digits equaled a palm, and 5 digits equaled a hand. They further divided 3 palms, or 12 digits, into a small span, 14 digits or a half cubit, into a large span, and 24 digits into a small cubit. To get smaller measurements than a digit, the Egyptians used fractions. Over time, the measurement of an inch was all over the measurement map. For example, one inch was once defined as the distance from the tip to the first joint on a man's finger. The ancient civilization of the Harappan in the Punjab used the Indus inch. Based on ruler markings found at excavation sites, it measured, in modern terms, about 1.32 inches, 3.35 centimeters, see below for more about the Harappan. The inch was defined as 1 a 36th of King Henry I of England's arm in the 11th century. And by the 14th century, King Edward II of England ruled that 1 inch equaled 3 grains of barley corn placed end to end lengthwise. See box on P46 for more about both kings. Longer measurements were often measured by such units as yards furlongs, and miles in Europe. At first, the yard was the length of a man's belt, also called a girdle. The yard became more standard for a while. 
when it was determined to be the distance from King Henry I's nose to the thumb of his outstretched arm. The term mile is derived from the Roman mill passus, or 1000 double steps, also called paces. The mile was determined by measuring 1000 double steps. With each double step by a Roman soldier measuring 5 feet. Thus, 1,000 double steps equaled a mile, or 5,000 feet, 1,524 meters. The current measurement of feet in a mile came in 1595, when, during the reign of England's Queen Elizabeth I, it was agreed that 5,280 feet, 1,609 meters, would equal one mile. This was mainly chosen because of the popularity of the furlong 8 furlongs equaled 5,280 feet. Finally, the pace was once attached to the Roman mile, see above. Today, a pace is a general measurement. Defined as the length of one average step by an adult human, or about 2.5 to 3 feet, 0.76 to 0.19 meters. What is a number? The term number can be defined in many ways, including a sizable collection of people or things and even an indefinite quantity or collection. In mathematics a number, or numeral, is usually defined as a symbolic representation of a specific quantity or place in a sequence. To most people, the most familiar numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. How was the standard foot determined? Whatever the true story, the foot we are familiar with today is equal to 12 inches, 30.48 centimeters. The true standardization of the foot came late in the 19th century. After the United States and Britain signed the Treaty of the Meter. In this treaty, the foot was officially defined in terms of the new metric standards being adopted overseas. In the United States, the Metric Act of 1866 further defined the foot as equal to exactly 1200 slash 3937 meter or about 30.4800609 cm. This unit of measurement is still used for geodetic surveying purposes in the United States, and is called the survey foot. By 1959, the United States National Bureau of Standards redefined the foot to equal exactly 30.48 cm, or about 0.999998 survey feet. This definition was also adopted in Britain by the Weights and Measures Act of 1963, thus. A foot, or 30.48 centimeters, is also called an international foot. What were the ancient definitions of a foot? Not all feet, or the foot, are created equal. The term foot in measurement has had a long history. 
with many stories claiming the origin of the first foot status. In fact, it seems as if the foot has ranged in size over the years from 9.84 to 13.39 inches. 25 to 34 centimeters, depending on the time period and slash or civilization. For example, the ancient Harappan civilization of the Punjab, from around 2500 to 1700 BCE, used a measurement interpreted by many to represent a foot a very large foot. At about 13.2 inches, 33.5 centimeters, see above for more about the Harappan. Around 1700 BCE, the Babylonians put their foot forward. A Babylonian foot was two odhirds of a Babylonian cubit. There are even records from Mesopotamia and Egypt showing yet another measurement system that included a foot of 11.0238 inches, 300 millimeters. This was also known as the Egyptian foot. And it was standard in Egypt from pre-dynastic times to the first millennium BCE. The Greek foot came close to today's foot, measuring about 12.1 inches. 30.8 centimeters, a Roman foot measured in at 11.7 inches, 29.6 centimeters. The list goes on, depending on the country and time period. How did the Hindu Arabic numbers evolve? The evolution of the Hindu Arabic numbers was not a straight line from India to Arabia and on to Europe. In between, the Arabic cultures had more than one number SYS Tem to contend with. Including at least three different types of arithmetic, finger reckoning arithmetic, counting on fingers. A sexagesimal system with numbers written in letters of the Arabic alphabet, and Indian numeral arithmetic. The evolution of the Hindu Arabic numbers continued throughout time. And includes some good reasons for why our numbers look as they do today. For example, historians believe that between 970 and 1082, the numbers 2 and 3 changed significantly. Rotating 90 degrees from their original written position. This is thought to be due to how scribes worked, sitting cross-legged. They wrote on a scroll they wound from right to left across their body. This caused them to write from top to bottom, not our usual left to right. The script was then rotated when the scroll was read. What is a base in mathematics? The term base has many meanings in the English language, including several that apply to the field of mathematics. When talking about sets, bases are the open sets whose union forms an abstract entity called a topological space. In geometry, the base represents the side of a polygon or polyhedron that is perceived as its bottom. When referring to an isosceles triangle, the base is the side that differs in length from the other two. Thus, the base angles include the side that is thought of as the base. 
Algebraists also use the term base to describe either the number used with an exponent to create a power. Such as 34 equals 81, or to write the same number as a subscript to a logarithm. Such as log 381 equals 4. For more information about logarithms, see algebra. One of the more familiar uses of the term base in mathematics deals with our numbering system. In which a base is a natural number whose powers are added to produce a specific number. For example, using 10 as a base, the number 2583.789 is actually 2x103 plus 5x102 plus 8x101 plus 3x100 plus 7x10 to 1 plus 8x10 to 2 plus 9x10 to 3. What is the difference between the various pounds and ounces? The story behind the ounce is long and convoluted because Historically people have been dissatisfied with the unit. For example, in medieval times English merchants were not happy with the troy pound. As it was less than the commercial pound in most of Europe. In response, the merchants developed an even larger pound. Which was called the Libra Mercataria, or Mercantile Pound. But by 1300 the complaints about the Mercantile Pound grew, because 15 troy ounces, or 7200 grains, were easily divided by 15 and its divisors, but this was not as convenient as dividing by 12 troy ounces. Soon, Another type of pound was born in English commerce, the 16-ounce avertipoise. Roughly translated from the Old French as goods of weight. Modeled on a common Italian pound unit of the late 13th century. The avertipoise pound weighed exactly 7,000 grains, which is easily divided for use in sales and trade. But because it was difficult to convert between the Troy and Averdepois units. The Averdepois ounce is 7,000/16 or 437.5 grains, and 1 grain equals 1/7,000 Averdepois pound. Or 1/5,760 Troy or Apothecaries pound. The troy ounce is 5,760/12,480 grains or 31.1035 grams in metric. The standard soon shifted to using mostly the avertipoise unit. The avertipoise is currently used in the United States and Britain. It is equal to 1/16th of a pound or 28.3495 grams. In metric, the avertipoise ounce is further divided into 16 drams, or dram. The troy ounce hasn't been totally forgotten, though. Today, it is used mainly as units for precious metals and drugs, where it is often called the apothecary's ounce. With its subdivisions of the scruple, or 20 grains, and the dram, or 60 grains. In turn, the avertipoise hour ounce for short is used for almost everything else. Upon what system were ancient measurements based?
Initially, people used different measurement systems and methods depending on where they lived. Most towns had their own measurement system, which was based on the materials the residents had at hand. This made it difficult to trade from region to region. Measurements eventually became based on familiar and common items. But that did not mean they were accurate. For example, length measurements were often based on parts of the human body. Such as the length of a foot or width of the middle finger, longer lengths would be determined by Strides or distances between outstretched arms. Because people were of different heights and body types. This meant the measurements changed depending on who did the measuring. Still, they were close enough for the needs at the time. Even longer lengths were based on familiar sites. For example, an acre was the amount of land that two oxen could plow in a day. How does modular arithmetic work? In modular arithmetic, numbers wrap around when they reach a fixed quantity. This is also called the modulus thus the name modular arithmetic with the standard way of writing the form as mod 12 or mod 2. In this case, if the two numbers be, also called the base, and C, also called the remainder, are subtracted, BC, and their difference is a number integrally divisible by M. Or, BC, slash m then b and c are said to be congruent modulo m mathematically b is congruent to c modulo m is written as follows with the symbol for congruence smiley face b equals c mod m but if bc is not integrally divisible by m then it is said b is not congruent to c modulo m or b dash equals c mod m more formally modular arithmetic includes any non-trivial homomorphic image of the ring of integers we can interpret this interesting definition using a clock the modulus would be the number 12 on the clock arithmetic modulo 12 with an associated ring labeled C12 and the allowable numbers being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Another example is arithmetic modulo 2, with an associated ring of C2, or allowable numbers of 1 and 2. How did the Hindu Arabic numerals spread to Europe? Hindu Arabic numerals, often less accurately called Arabic numerals or numbers, had their roots in India before 300 BCE. From there, the use of Indian numerals followed the western trade routes to Spain and northern Africa that were taken by the Arabic-Islamic peoples, this consequently resulted in the expanded use of these symbols. It took several more centuries to spread the idea to Europe. Although the Spanish used some Hindu-Arabic symbols as early as the late 900s, Records of a more extensive use of these symbols occurred around 1202. Italian mathematician Leonardo of Pisa 
also known as Fibonacci, C1170 C1250, for more about Fibonacci, CP. 77 and History of Mathematics Introduced the Hindu Arabic numbers in his book Libra Basi, the Book of the Abacus. The acceptance of such a numbering system was difficult. For example, in some places in Italy it was forbidden to use anything but Roman numerals. By the late 15th century, most people in Europe were still using an abacus and Roman numerals. The 16th century was the turning point, with European traders, surveyors, bookkeepers, and merchants spreading the use of the Hindu Arabic numerals. After all, it took longer to record data using Roman numerals than with Hindu Arabic numbers. The advent of the printing press also helped by standardizing the way the Hindu Arabic numbers looked. By the 18th century, the new numeration system was entrenched. Establishing a system that dominates the way we work with and perceive numbers in the 21st century. For more information about Hindu Arabic and Roman numerals, see History of Mathematics. What is the sieve of Eratosthenes? The smallest prime numbers those less than 1 million can be determined. Using something invented circa 240 BCE, the sieve of Eratosthenes. This method was named after astronomer and mathematician Eratosthenes of Cyrene, 276 to 196 BCE, who was actually more famous for calculating the circumference of the Earth than for his work with prime numbers. To determine primes using this method, make a list of all the integers less than or equal to n. Numbers greater than 1, and get rid of all the multiples of all primes less than or equal to the square root of n. The numbers that are left are all primes. For example, to determine primes less than 100, start with 2 as the first prime. Then write all odd numbers from 3 to 100, there is no need to write the even numbers. Take 3 as the first prime and cross out all its multiples in the numbers you listed. Take the next number, 5, and then 7, and cross out all their multiples. By the time you reach 11, many numbers will be eliminated and you will have reached a number greater than the square root of 100, 11 is greater than 10, the square root of 100. Thus, all the numbers you have left will be primes. How do you convert from the binary to the decimal system and vice versa? Besides the decimal system, one of the most familiar number systems is the binary numeration system. This is mainly because of its use in computers, for more about computers, see Math in Computing. In a binary numeration system, only 1 and 0 are used or a base 2 system. Converting between binary and decimal systems is fairly simple. Just remember that each digit in the binary number represents a power of 2. The first column in the base 2 math is the units column, then the 2s. 
fours, eights, etc. columns, all of which can only be filled with zeros or ones. Since there is no single digit that stands for 2 in base 2, when you get to what stands for 2, you put a 1 in the 2's column and a 0 in the unit's column, creating 1 2 and no 1's. Thus, the base 10 2, 210, or just 2 in decimal form, is written in the binary as 102, a 3, 310, or just 3 in decimal form, in base 2 is actually 1 2 and 1 1, or 112. The number 4 is actually 2x2. So you eliminate the 2 and unit columns and put a 1 in the 4's column. Thus, 410, or just 4 in decimal form, is written in binary form as 1002. What is the historical significance of the barleycorn in measurement? The barleycorn, just a grain of barley, definitely had a significant historical role in determining the length of an inch and the English foot, for more about the inch and foot, see below. In addition, in traditional English law, the various pound weights all referred to multiples of the grain, a single barley corn's weight equaled a grain. And multiples of a grain were important in weight measurement. Thus, some researchers believe the lowly barley corn was actually at the origin of both weight and distance units in the English system. What is arithmetic? Arithmetic is a branch of mathematics that deals with numerical computation, specifically. It includes computation using integers, rational numbers, real numbers, or complex numbers. The word arithmetic has its roots in the Greek word for to count. Arithmian, also arithmos, or number. Arithmetic contains all the rules for combining two or more numbers. In most cases, when mathematicians talk about elementary arithmetic, they are speaking of those subjects most of us learned in grade school, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division being the most common, and fractions, geometry, and measurements. Ratios and proportion, simple probabilities, and algebra examined in more advanced levels. For even more advanced students, such arithmetic lessons as congruence calculation, root extraction, power computations, and advanced factorizations are often presented. Is measurement tied to mathematics? Yes, measurement is definitely tied to mathematics. In particular, the first steps toward mathematics was using units. And eventually numbers, to describe physical quantities. There had to be a way to add and subtract the quantities. And most of those crude calculations were based on fundamental mathematics. For example, in order to trade horses for gold, 
merchants had to agree on how much a certain amount of gold, usually as weight, was worth, then translate that weight measurement into their barter system. In other words, X amount of gold would equal Y amount of horses. What is a decimal system? The decimal system uses the base 10 notation system to represent real numbers. A decimal expansion is the expression of a number within the decimal system. Such as 1, 15, 359, 18.7, and 3.14159. Each number within the system is called a decimal digit. Such decimal notation or a numbering notation based on decimals was first used in India around the year 594. The decimal point is represented by a period placed to the right of a unit's place in a decimal number. It is interesting to note that a comma is used in continental Europe to denote a decimal point. Such as 3,25, translated as 3.25, which in this case would logically be called the decimal comma. What are prime and composite numbers? Prime numbers are positive integers, natural numbers that are greater than 1 and have only 1 and the prime number as divisors, factors. Another way to define a prime number is an integer greater than 1 in which its only positive divisors are 1 and itself. For example, prime numbers less than 20 are 2. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. All other integers greater than 1 that are not prime are called composite numbers. There are other rules, the number 1 is unique, and is not considered a prime or composite number. And one of the basic theorems of arithmetic is that any positive Integer is either a prime or the product of a unique set of prime numbers. For example, the number 12 is not a prime, but it has a unique prime calculation written as 2x2x3. What was the first civilization to use a decimal system of weights and measures? Between 2500 and 1700 BCE, the Harappa, or Harappan. Civilization of the Punjab now a province in Pakistan developed the earliest known decimal system of weights and measures. For more about decimals, see Math Basics. The proof was first found in the modern Punjab region, where cubical. Some say hexahedral, weights in graduated sizes were uncovered at Harappa excavations. Archaeologists believe that these weights were used as a standard Harappan weight system. Represented by the ratio 1 colon 2 colon 4 colon 8 colon 1632 colon 64. The small weights have been found in many of the regional settlements and were probably used for trade and slash or collecting taxes. The smallest weight is 0 0.8375 grams, 0.00185 pounds, or as measured by the Harappa. 
0.8525, the most common weight is approximately 13.4 grams, 0.0295 pounds, or in Harappa, 13.64, the 16th ratio. Some larger weights represent a decimal increase, or 100 times the most common weight, the 16th ratio. Other weights correspond to ratios of 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, and 500. There is also evidence that the Harappan civilization had some of the most advanced length measurements of the time. For example, a bronze rod found at an excavation was marked in units of precisely 0.367 inch, 0.93 centimeter. Such a measuring stick was perfect to plan roads. To construct drains for the cities, and even to build homes. An ivory scale found at Lithal, once occupied by the Harappan civilization, is the smallest division ever recorded on any measuring stick yet found from the Bronze Age. With each division approximately 0.06709 inch, 0.1704 centimeter, apart. What is the story behind the Mercenae Primes? Mercenae Primes, or Mercenae Numbers, are connected to prime numbers. They come in the form of 2P1, in which P is a prime, or To put it another way, when 2P1 is prime, it is said to be a Mersenay prime. Centuries ago, many mathematicians believed that numbers from the form 2P1, they actually used the form 2N1, which is the same as the 2P1 used today, were prime for all primes P. By the 16th century, it was proven that 211 1 equals 2047 was not prime. By 1603 Pietro Cataldi, 1548-1626, correctly discovered that P equals 17 and P equals 19 were both prime. But he was wrong to add 23, 29 and 37 to his prime numbers list. Soon. Others discovered his errors, including French mathematician Pierre de Fermat. 1601-1665, in 1640 and Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, 1707-1783, in 1738. The hunt for primes continued. The name Mersenay actually came from the French priest Father Marin Mersenay, 1588-1648 Who in 1644 referred to such numbers in the preface to his book Cogitata Physica Mathematica. He believed that these special primes were, P equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 67, 127, and 257. But like earlier attempts at determining prime numbers, many of Mersenay's numbers were in error. It took three centuries more to check Mersenay's range of numbers, and by 1947 the correct list of Mersenay primes were P equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 61, 89, 107 and 127. Interestingly enough, even though Mersenay incorrectly stated that certain numbers belong to this group he 
probably didn't verify all the numbers on his list his name is still attached to these numbers.